Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. When we last left off, we actually managed to get the Crystal Cloak, uh, but apparently it doesn't actually do anything. So, apart from giving you a very minor, minor boost to your uh, defense. So, we're going to swap it back for the Blood Cloak. Now, we're going to continue going deeper underground. Or I guess technically we're going to be going up. And I need to turn my headset down again. There we go. <sighs> Music in this game in my headset is like really definitely loud. Uh, which isn't bad because the music's pretty good. But that's fine. Anyway, let's just smash everything in our path. Because that seems to be the way of Alucard. And we have a boss. Cerberus. Now, luckily, Cerberus is a good pooch. And should go down without too much of a fight. We seem to be in a bit of a weird place at the moment with our levels and such because we're kind of overpowered for pretty much everything we're coming up against but also at the same time not really. It, yeah, it's odd. We're suddenly going to hit a wall where enemies are tough again but that's not kind of going to happen down here, actually. We have some Salem Witches. Oof. And that was not fantastic. Now, these Witches are really cool. I like their design. Now, I don't think there's... Oof. No, we definitely want to keep the Holy Water. I don't th think there's anything hidden here. I might be wrong. Yeah. God damn it. Might be a couple of little things hidden somewhere. I'm sure there's some mushrooms. We do like mushrooms. In fact, shiitake mushrooms are actually really good. But, nope, I think we're good. Right, let's keep going down. Yep, keep going down. Because our next key item is down here. And there's also these annoying gremlins with spoons full of fire, for reasons, I guess. Um, and although the enemies themselves aren't much to write home about, they will leave this fire everywhere in your path. And it's just a little bit annoying. I'm guessing they'll be weak to cold weapons. Just a guess. And you could probably use a fire potion to actually defend yourself a little bit against these guys, but you don't need to. The fire really is quite trivial. And that gives us the demon guard. So we can summon the demon familiar. But to be honest, I just think the fairy is where it's at. She's pretty useful. Um, and to be honest, like to start again, leveling up another creature would just take so long. I don't know how you'd max out all of them, to be honest. I guess you would just have to keep running around and grinding for hours. And to be honest, ain't nobody got time for that. Now, I think the demon actually is an attack familiar. He's actually quite powerful from what I can remember. But we're not going to worry about him too much. Ah, we've unlocked another teleporter. Excellent. Definitely going to be useful in the future. Maybe, anyway. But for now, we must journey ever deeper into the depths. I do love these um, Salem Witches. They are cool. Ah, there's the Shitake. We'll have you. I think there's some more down here. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, there's another one there. Oh, God. Excuse me, love. Sorry. None of that shenanigans down here. Come on. A little bit more. There we go. How this game never got remade um, properly, I should say, is kind of baffling, if you ask me. Now, here we get the Karma Coin. Karma Coin's an interesting one. It's a single-use weapon. You throw it, and depending on what side of the coin, uh, it will either heavily damage every item or every enemy on the screen, or it will just cause a lightning bolt to attack the coin which will damage anything that the lightning bolt hits. So, yeah, it's fine. I've, I've never used it, to be honest. Now, 
that combat knife that we just picked up is very, very powerful. It's similar to the knife that we had in the beginning of the game. It has a crazy fast attack speed. So not only does it do monstrous amounts of damage, it, uh, it's really fast. Okay, just want to make sure that we're not missing anything on our adventure. Although we probably will be missing... Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Missing things. But I will try and keep an eye on that off camera. Um, right, let's head this way into the save room. Now, there's actually some armor back here, if memory serves correctly. Somewhere. I think I'll figure that one out. I'm sure there's... Hmm. Nope. Nope, I think I'm thinking of another part a little bit later on. But we can go this way and find some goodies. So the last super important item of the game really is here. That's the bloodstone. The bloodstone actually um, increases how much health you get back uh, from something. It says, I'll read you the description. This is another weapon or another item, I should say. That I'm not 100% sure of what it does. Improves blood healing ability. I'm guessing that's a spell that we can get. But we're not going to worry about it too much. Now, if I take the moons, if I take that off. Yeah, it's still giving us like crazy benefits. So I'm not sure how that works. I'm pretty sure we do get another similar amulet at some point as well. Pretty sure it's called like the Sun Amulet or something. This is a cool enemy, the Bone Arc. You've got to destroy the whole lot. Or oh, well, at least one of the skeletons and the actual skull itself. Otherwise, it's just going to keep attacking you. Right, let's get rid of these bloody gremlins. Oof. Yeah, you can see where the annoyance of the, those guys comes from. Ooh, you know what? Slow time's not a terrible shout, but... I think we'll just keep with what we have for now. All right. Explore this room. This room looks awesome. Not sure, actually, if there's anything hidden in here. I don't think so. Um... I think there's... Ah, right, yes, of course. Some very useful items there. But wait, there's more. Evening. Another Gravekeeper. And a Hellfire Beast. Which would be pretty tough, to be honest, if we didn't have the Holy Water, which just evaporates everybody. Now, we're in for some shit now. Loss off. Not really sure how. Oh, we've got five rand from that guy. Whoa. Yeah, they're not that tough, to be honest. Ooh, have another one of these guys. Man, it's soaking up tons and tons of damage. Some of the death animations of these guys are fantastic as well. I think there's another. Upgrade up here. Oh, ballroom mask. Not sure what that one does. Ooh, hello. Checking that out in a minute. Now, I'm sure... Either this is a heart upgrade. Yeah, it's a heart upgrade. Cool. Thought my memory was sort of failing. I actually really like this area. And what do we have here? The Ice Brand. And to be honest with you, the Ice Brand is probably a good shout around about here. So we've got the Fire Brand already. Um, 
And there's the ice brand. That's... It's not actually a two-handed weapon. And it does do more damage as well. But of course it's slower. So it's balanced out. Yeah. Thereabouts. Um... Um, um, um. Okay, I think we're good. Let's keep exploring downstairs. Or at least down... Ooh, hello. Ow, that actually really didn't hurt that much. Have... Oh, God. Have some holy water, my friend. Burn those bollocks of yours. Now, let's see. Yeah, I guess that really does do... A lot more damage. I like the 3D um, foreground as well. It's really cool. Those waves of lava. Really nice little effect. Now, oh man, yeah, they they do not like that at all, do they? Okay, let's keep exploring the lower path first. And that gives us a coin. Doesn't seem like much. Am I missing something here? Possibly. Hmm. <laughs> I'll work out where we are in relation. No, I don't think we are. We are missing a save room. Ooh, hello. Not today, Satan. But maybe tomorrow. Let's see. Now I can leave this one. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. What that was, I don't know. Kind of somehow did some sort of special move. Curious. Right, let's go drop a save here. Because we've got a boss to go fight. And I'll be honest, I don't really remember this boss too well. So, eh. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? Now, what do we have? Ooh, oh, right. Yeah, this boss is kind of a weird one, actually. So it's a giant amalgamation of bodies. Um, we've just got to keep chipping away at it. It's not especially dangerous from what I can remember. But you can see just mountains and mountains of corpses will be uh, dropping on our heads. Which doesn't help the situation at all, to be honest. That's fine. Let's keep... Yeah, how do we do that? That's cool. I'm not sure. Right, okay. Let's come up here. I'm not sure if we can find somewhere where we can stand. If we could get it to come over here, that would be nice. No, it's just going to hurt us. That's fine. Let's see if we can't work these corpse stash off it. Although, this firebrand does have... A oh, God, yeah. Yeah, he starts getting significantly more dangerous as we start uncovering more parts of them. Now, trouble is, we can't, oh shit. We can't block that attack. Okay, that'll do. And we don't have the attack as the bat either, which is a little bit unfortunate. But that's fine. We'll make it work. We always do. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm activating that ability. I really don't want to get hit there either. That's fine. Now, there's probably a way more efficient way of doing this. But I haven't discovered it. Okay, there we go. We can actually chip away at the... Ooh, painful. I'll come down here. That's more like it. Ooh. Damn it. Nope, oh, that's fine. Duck and weave. If I can kill more of the corpse mass, 
I'd be happy. All right, what are we looking like? Health isn't the best, but that's okay. Ooh, not today, mate. Uh, and that is also not what I wanted to do. Destroy all of these corpse generating masses. A little bit of surgery. Oh, that was lucky. As lucky as it gets. Come on, last little bit of corpsage. Actually, I think there's another one. Oof, that was close. Ah, there we go. I actually had significantly less health than I thought. I did think I was going to have to dip into my health items then. Nice. Excellent. I actually really like that boss. It's something very different. Okay. Ooh. Really these damn thorn weeds. Don't think there's anything hidden here. I think what we want and what we've come for is above. More thorn weeds. Aha! That's what we're looking for. And it is the Morg Megil. More Megil? Something like that. So it's a black sword. Strong versus holy. Now. This thing is wicked. It's really quick as well. Okay, let's go. So I don't know how the effects work. I'm guessing it does 50 damage, but yeah. But it does extra damage against holy enemies. It's a really fast weapon as well. Well, I don't know if it's like the fastest of the weapons, but it's it's definitely up there. Right, we can't go that way. But we can go through here. I think that was a rather successful... Oof. Yeah, of course, the firebrand will be better against those guys. But we lack that at this present time. So here we have the walk armor. That's what I was looking for. And the walk armor. Defense increases with map coverage. So interesting, I guess. I mean, technically it's giving us more defense. So we'll roll with it for now. Uh, you know what? We're going to save it. We are on 18 minutes, but I think we're going to head back over to the other side. In fact... Oh, we've got some grapes. Nice. I like grapes. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, God. Come on. There we go. Yeah, these flames, man. Oof. Whichever designer decided to add those in as enemies, I hope, has a very unfortunate case of flea itch in his asshole. Let's just say that. Fleas of a thousand camels can infest his ass. Now, let's just set his crotch on fire. Ooh, not quite enough. That's okay. Look at that guy. What a champion. With a bloody yo-yo of death. That's fine. I kind of feel sorry for these old men. Ooh, we've got a sirloin. Not bad. They're just wandering the halls, lost and damned. Until Alucard comes and slices their gizzards out. These gravekeepers aren't too much to write home about. Now, the first time I played this and uh, actually had to fight a gravekeeper, I think that was where um, you get the green tea, I believe it is, in the Colosseum. I had a bit of, bit of trouble with him, actually. I don't know whether I was just underleveled or what. But it matters not. Okay. Let's... Oof. You guys suck so much. I don't know what it is with Castlevania and just having, like, 
irritating enemies. Not all of the enemies are bad. But every now and again, there's just an enemy that's just pure irritation. Oh, no. Don't... Yeah. Don't want your stupid holy book. I want your holy water. Now, I don't believe... Okay, so this weapon actually hurts the large slime. And I'm guessing the other slimes as well. The dagger does not. It will say uh, immune or something like that. When we go to stab them. Yeah, so this weapon also works. Excellent. Good to know, I guess. Collecting a nice sum of cash as well. Okay. So let's go finish this area off and collect the one item that we were here for in the first place. And that is what we need the bat's echo ability Don't for. Don't forget that some animals can live in complete darkness. Uh-huh. And there's our fairy friend being extraordinarily useful. So we absolutely need the echo power for this. Although I guess if you know this area like by the, you know, really well, you probably could get by without it, maybe. But yeah, I, I wouldn't want to <laughs> try it myself. All right, cool. Come on, there we go. And to my knowledge, that is all you need the echo ability for. Kind of bizarre. Unless there's more stuff in the uh, inverted castle that you need it for, of course. That I don't know about. Which, obviously, is possible. I haven't, to date, played much of the inverted castle yet. Get some cross shurikens. Not sure how good they are. And some more karma coins. Let's get rid of these sacks of shit. Ah, oh, look at that guy. He got trapped. Game over, bro. Where skeletons are nothing to write home about. They kind of look like chickens, though, the way they walk. I don't know if it's just my stupid head. But to me, they look like chicken skeletons. Does that make sense? Nah, probably. Right. Now, I don't believe there's much here apart from the spike breaker. What's a spike breaker? I hear you say. Well, sweet summer child. That allows us to walk on spikes. And it's vital for our next item. Now, when it comes to the story, as I say, we've basically completed the game now. It's just collecting all the extras. And that's where the meat and potatoes of this game is. You could probably, without too much difficulty, finish this game in a few hours. But that would be missing most of the castle. And where's the fun in that? Okay, so what are we looking like now? That's completely explored. Son of a bitch. Give me my bloody water back. See what I mean? The way they walk. <laughs> oh, okay, maybe that's not quite so chicken-like. I've never seen them actually do that attack, but the way they flip their heads around uh, also. <laughs> it just tickles me in all the right places. Oh, God. Okay, now I can't remember. We actually have to. Yes, we do. We actually have to equip Spike Breaker. And then. Oh, yes. This is very satisfying. Now, these spikes will absolutely wreck you if you're not careful. And yeah, once you fall into them, you're basically dead because of how they knock you around. I'm not sure if the spike breaker. Okay. So it's actually not terrible armor either. Curious. Cool. All right, let's go back and save the game. <clears throat> and then we've made some pretty good progress, to be honest. Ah, you bastards. I do wish there was a better way of whipping and finding secondary weapons. Ah, we've got these dick bags to deal with again now. Big nosed bastards. Come here. 
son of a bitch. I mean, I'd stick that spoon so far up his ass, but he'd probably like it, to be fair. All right. Uh, the watch is actually... I do like the slow time ability, but not today. Oh, hello, guys. That was unfortunate. I didn't realise that that thing can actually look round. That's definitely a design flaw. And Dracula's design. I'm guessing that Dracula actually designed all of these enemies. Not 100% sure. But we'll roll with that for now. Anyway, guys. I'm going to save the game there. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, well, I'm not entirely sure. I know the next item that we need to get is all the way um, north. <laughs> it's 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 that up in the uh, top left there. It's that one corridor that we haven't explored yet. But we've got a few other little bits and pieces to look at before we get that far. So we'll see. I'll figure it out. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.